I know you are excited to write your first Java code, but the thing is, to write the Java code, you need a place to write the code, right? So basically, you need an editor. Of course, Notepad works, right? We all love Notepad. Apart from Notepad, we have multiple softwares using which you can write your Java code. Maybe you can use WordPad or you can use Notepad++, you can use Edit+. When it comes to programming, there are multiple editor options available. Specifically for Java, the one of the most famous IDE. Now, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So basically, we have editors where you can only type the code, or you can use a IDE where you can type the code, where you can, where you can run the code, where you can compile the code, where you can debug the code, and you can do everything in an IDE. Now, which is good. Now, for beginners, using editor makes sense, but then if you are working on a real project, you can use a IDE. Now, it is dependent upon you which IDE you want to use. In this course, we are going to use VS Code. Now, there are multiple options available. We have Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, we have NetBeans. In fact, I have worked on a lot on NetBeans at the start of my career. I have worked on Eclipse as well for some few years and then I have worked on IntelliJ IDEA for one or two projects. My personal favorite is IntelliJ IDEA. The only thing is the ultimate version, which is awesome, is a paid version. The community version is good, but it has some limited features. Now, why we are using VS Code is because it's a very lightweight editor or an IDE. So you can do everything in VS Code and it's also lightweight. Okay, apart from that, you also need a compiler, right? So of course, right, when you write a code, of course, you have to compile your code so that your machine can understand that. And in terms of Java, we have to download JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit. Now, how do you get these two softwares? It's very simple. Just go to your browser and search for JDK download. And also you can search for VS Code. So these are two softwares we're going to use. Let's start with JDK first. In JDK, we have two versions. We have a proprietary JDK of Oracle and we have an open source version. In fact, there are multiple implementation for open source. You can choose any of them. Uh, we have Coretto, we have uh, different implementation. You can just explore them. But I'm going to use Oracle JDK here. Yes, at one point Oracle made Java paid, but now it's free again. So we can use Oracle JDK here and you can just click on the Java downloads and you can see it will give you multiple options. The thing is, at the point of this recording, Java 19 already launched, Java 20 is going to release soon. And with every new version, in fact, Java is following this six months uh, updates now. So every six months you will get new updates, right? So. With every new update, you will get some features, but the basic language will remain same. So irrespective if you are, if you are watching this, when we have Java 25, don't worry, Java is backward compatible and the basic language features will be same. Of course, there will be minor tweaks in the new updates, new features, but uh, overall it will be same. In case if there's something new happening, which is changing the basic concept, uh, we are going to re-record that video in the, in the series. Okay, now which one version to choose here? Should, should we go for Java 19 or Java 17? The thing is, with every six months, you get new features, right? But not every version is LTS. LTS stands for long-term support. So there are some versions which get long-term support. Now, Java 17 is one of them. So instead of downloading Java 19, we are going to go for Java 17 because it's LTS. So if I click on Java 17 here, and you can depend upon which OS you're using. I'm using Windows here. Uh, for the core Java, we are going to use Mac OS, but then the setup will change, but the underlying software will remain same. The code will remain same, right? So irrespective of which OS you're working will not make any difference for, for the course. But for this video, I'm using Windows here. And uh, if you're using Linux, you can choose Linux distribution or Linux package here. If you're using Mac OS, you can download based on, is it a Mac? Apple chip or it is a Intel chip and you can go for Windows as well if you're using Windows and for this machine I'm using Windows so you can click on this download here and it will take some time for the downloading this setup is actually very simple you just have to change one thing which I will show you in some time and it's straightforward in Mac uh, in Windows you have to set the path okay we'll see how to do that next is VS Code and you can just click on this download here now first of all VS Code is a very popular IDE. Now, if you're coming from some other languages, you might have already used VS Code. So it's quite easy. Okay. Now, depending upon which OS you're using, you can download one. I'm using Windows here. I will click on download and yeah, it's starting, starting soon. And you can see it is downloading here. Now, let's start with the JDK first. When you click on JDK, uh, it will take some time. The thing is, in my machine, I already have these two softwares. So the first screen might, might look different for both of us. 
you can see from it says reinstall i will say yes so here you can see it says next in fact for you as well you have to just click on next 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 everything is smooth and depending upon your machine speed it, uh, it will change uh, the speed might change okay uh, that's JDK install, but how do we verify if you have JDK? Okay, we'll do that in some time, but let's do the setup for VS Code. Again, straightforward setup. Uh, say I accept, you don't have a choice here. You can say next, next. Uh, nothing to specify, just by default it will be there. So just keep it and install. So by the time it is happening, what I will do is I will open my command prompt and how do you check if you have Java installed? So go just type Java hyphen hyphen version and it will give you the Java version. If it is coming, that means Java or JDK is installed. In fact, you have to check one more thing, which is Java C version for the compiler. And you can see it is getting, giving me the version here. But in case if you get error that the Java C command not found, even if you have installed it, that means the path is not set. How do you verify the path here? It's very simple actually. Or you can just go to search and search for environment variables. Or if you type environment, it will give you the first one. Just click on that. And here, if you can see, we have an option of environment variables. Just click on this environment variables. And you can see we have user variables path here. You have to make sure that you have a path variable. Or you can edit it in system variables. If you want this to be applied throughout the system, different users, then you can use system variables. Or you can use a user variable here. I will go for system variable. Make sure that you have path. In case if you don't have a path, click on new. And set the variable name as path. And set the value. Now, what is the value here? Now the value is your bin folder. So what you can do is you can go to your C drive, go to program files, search for Java here. You can see we have Java and open this JDK, click on bin. Now this is a path because inside this bin you have Java C. So copy this and you can paste it here in the environment variables value. Now since I already have path variable, I will not create new. If you don't have a path variable, create, uh, click on OK. But I will not do that because I already have a path variable. Just double click it. It will show all the path variables. For my machine, I already have it here. If you don't have it, find the empty place or click on new, paste and you're done. And click on okay. For me, it's already there, so I will just remove this and click on okay, okay. Now, once you do this setup, you have to make sure that you restart your CMD. And now try for Java C version and it works. Okay, so that's how you install JDK and make it work. Now let's open VS Code. Now once your VS Code is installed, you can see it's done for me. I will say launch. So that's how VS Code looks like. Now this is a place where you have most of the settings. In fact, uh, I have already used VS Code in my machine with different extensions and that's why you can see them here. But for you, I don't. Uh, you will not be having this extension. You will be having only first four. Uh, now how do we check if everything is working? Just click on terminal here new terminal and try to do Java C here as well and it works. So your JDK and VS code is all set. Now you can start the code which we'll do in the next video.